Hey everyone, Casey here at home with Casey, getting ready for another spin workout. So, if you're on your trainer, you're ready, let's start warming up. You wanna to remember to have a towel, water, and be ready to go. Now, for, for this spin workout, if you have your own music, that would be fantastic. So, get that thing plugged in and turned on so that we can uh, spin together. Music will enhance the workout, all right? So, again, you're, we're warming up. You're gonna be, I'm on my spin bike, I'm on my road bike in my trainer here. So I'm on an easy gear in the front. I'm, I'm in the small chain in the front and I'm sort of in the middle too easy in the back. So we're gonna warm up. Let me get my shorts pulled up and we're ready to rock and roll. So our goal is to have a 10 minute warm up. We're gonna do some single leg drills, some over spinning drills. We're gonna get into the main set before we pull down. All right, so warm up is super critical. So I have my music right here. So I'm gonna be powered by music. All right, so when you're sitting on your bike, let's look to our posture, right? Shoulders are back and down, chest is open, pull that belly in, we're gonna hinge at the hips, so we're in position. Now, I'm in my hoods right here, and I can stay right here, nice and relaxed upper body, but keep the chest open. You can be down in your drops, or if you have a triathlon bike, you can be warming up in your aero bars. But again, keeping that posture open, we have a slight tuck on the hips, and we're just letting a nice, smooth cadence roll through us. Remember, the optimal cadence would be between 80 and 100. And we talked about earlier about how you can count each pedal stroke, how many, up strokes in a minute, or if you do 30 seconds, multiply times two. Again, that's the idea. So, goal really with our warm up is to just kind of get blood to the muscle to get us nice and warmed up for what's to come. Our single leg drill will focus on our technique and form that we're going to take through in the workout and throughout the workout. I like to include heels in our main sets. So it really helps to build power and strength. Now when we're on our trainer, we're not outside on the road, so we get to do some very specific work. And that work is really to increase or expand our efficiency. The more efficient we can be, the more powerful riders. It goes toward endurance as well. So in addition to our postural alignment, you know, keeping that chest open, we also want to plant that butt in the saddle. Because in some of our over spin drills, where our leg speed is really fast, not that you would go fast on the road or in a race or whatever, but it just helps with our technique, when your butt planted in that saddle. Now I can see myself on this zoom, so I, my goal is really to keep a nice solid upper body. So people see you as you're sitting on your spin bike, they don't know what's happening. So if I'm pushing up a hill, or I'm spinning really fast, my upper body does not bounce around and I'm not moving that. We're expending extra energy and we're making ourselves less efficient. All right, so we got another six minutes. Just invite you to just kind of sit back, inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth, and let that body warm up. We're gonna follow through on that pedal stroke. So you don't want to just be pressing down. That means you're utilizing more quad than you need to. So you want to be not only push, but pull and lift. That's really going to become more profoundly exemplified in our single leg drills. But at the bottom of that pedal stroke, you know, if you're in a clock face, right, at midnight, we're really pushing down, pushing down, pushing down. At five, between five and seven, we're gonna pull back that foot. We're scraping the bottom of our foot, pull, and then we're gonna drive our knee up. We have a lot of power when we're pressing down, and even at that bottom of that pedal stroke, but it's between seven, six and midnight, seven and midnight, even if that we really lose power. So we wanna be, Powerful through the entire pedal stroke. Make that circle. Make it really happen. 
So as you're warming up, really solidify, get that, feel that in your muscles. So they memorize what does it feel like to be in good posture alignment. How am I going forward with my pedal stroke? In this video, you can see my legs moving. I'm probably around 90 RPM. And again, if you have your regular spin bike, you're going to be controlling this, the resistance with your knob. On our trainers here, we're going to be using our shifters on our handlebars. Left side controls the front, right side controls the back. We'll explain more when we get to that hill workout where we're only going to be manipulating the right, the left side. So our hill profile. All right, we're going to continue to warm up. We have a couple more minutes to just sit and relax. Now remember you have your water. You want to drink throughout the workout whenever you need. The goal is to drink while we're moving, right? You don't want to stop your legs, grab it, grab it, grab a drink of water. Nothing can happen when we're out on the road. Some of you might be training for races. Some of you just training to be better on the bike, get fit. Some of you just training to burn some calories. Whatever the goal, you want to have the best form you can. And remember, hydrate. Now, as the weather changes, if you're going outside, all this work that we're doing is going to translate outside. So you'll be able to feel that you're being stronger on the bike. This gives us an opportunity to practice those technique type of things without worrying about stoplights or change in grade, right? So if you have a hill by your house, this might be where you do your hill repeats, right? But there's nothing beats being out on the road when you're trying to be a better cyclist, right? We can do a lot of work here on the trainer to become stronger cyclists. But truly, you got to be out on the road. You got to feel the wind. You got to feel the elements. You have to have increased, expand your awareness, right? Your peripheral vision so you can kind of see what's going on. So I'm riding down the road. I want to change lines. I'm going to look over my right shoulder. But I still want to be going straight and I still want to keep my balance, right? If you have a tight neck, think about doing exercises to loosen up your neck and make you stronger because you really need to look around and be aware. I want to be aware peripherally and if I need to turn back, I can do so safely. That would be my tip for today. All right, so we got one more minute of our warm up. We're going to go into our single leg drills. We're going to do right leg for 30 seconds, left leg for 30 seconds, both legs together for 30. We're going to initiate right leg only by pulling our left foot out of the pedal. Now, not every one of you has pedals per se, so you're clipped to your bike. If you don't, your foot should be in a cage so you can execute the move, or if not, you just take all the weight off your leg that you're not using and just kind of let it go on for the ride. All right, so single leg drills helps us with our efficiency. We're gonna go right leg for 30 seconds, left for 30, three sets, right, left together. We're gonna be starting with our right side, right leg first in five, four, three, two, and go. I'm unclipped and there I go. Now I don't have a lot of resistance, it's kind of light, I want to get that pedal over. Now if it feels like you're just moving a little bit too mobile, maybe you had one, one gear harder, but smooth it out. I can see I got a bounce in my, I got a crick in my circle, make that circle, focus on the circle, grip your abs. Oh my goodness, here we go, left side and go. Single leg, left side. Admittedly, I've got a stronger left leg. Make that circle. Grip those abs, shoulders back and down, turning that leg. My left leg is a lot more efficient, which means I have a little bit of a 
disparity. Oh, there it goes. It's jumping a little bit. Eeks. All right, here we go. And together, both feet, spin it out. On our together spin, you just want to focus on spinning those legs together, putting even pressure on those paddles. I like it. Okay, set one in the bag. Coming up on set two. Remember, we're just going to unclip on the left side. Get that right leg rolling. Ready. And go. Right leg only. And don't be discouraged if you're not perfect. Oh, my goodness. Because it just takes time. Mm, there we go. Smooth it out. Come on. Smooth it out. You got it. And one gear there. Come on, make those circles, make those circles. Looking strong, oh, there I go. Here we go, left side, hook in and go. All right, so clearly, I gotta work on that right leg. Now, I'm gonna focus on lifting. When we start to get tired, what happened? Focus on lifting, come on. 15 more seconds, and then we're going together. 15, come on. Oh, there goes that bounce again, focusing in five, four, three, two, oh, thank goodness, together. Woo! Smooth it out, smooth it out, breathe. All right, so I want to focus that right leg stronger. I want to bring it up to bounce with that left. I want to make sure I'm evenly pressing. Here we go. Final set of our single leg drills. 30 seconds right. Coming up and go. I always like to include these because it's so important to work on our technique. The better and more efficient you are, the better cyclist overall you become. Stronger. Fitter. Come on! Yeah, yeah. Keep it going. Five seconds. We're going into that left leg. And here we go. Left leg. Single leg last. Now it always starts off good. Focus. Come on. 20 more seconds. There's that bounce again. Lift, lift, lift. Oh, I gotta put some energy on it. Five, four, three, two together. Spin it out. That's it. All right. Now, in the next drill, gonna help with our efficiency and form is our overspinning. So, we're gonna take our cadence. We want to be between 90, 80 and 100, right? This is going to take it beyond what we normally do. Might not do this in real life, but when we start that overspinning, we're going to engage those muscles. And what you want to do is really try to prevent yourself from bouncing around that saddle. Control the pedal stroke. We just get wild and we're just spinning and we're just going. Try to follow through on that circle. We're gonna do four times 30 seconds over spinning. Four minutes, here we go. First set, 30 seconds, ready and go. Now it might take something to keep you from bouncing around. Follow through on that circle, come on, come on. There goes my bike, come on. Hold strong. My bike's moving a little bit, but come on. Breathe, grip your abs. That's it. Three, two, and relax. Easy cadence. Woo! So I've done a lot of racing in my, my time. And man, the best type of racing is when the wind's behind you, you can get in a big gear, and fly down that road. You're pressing on those pedals, your cadence is nice and high, 
or you're going downhill, doing the same thing. All right, here we go. Same gear, changing nothing, over spin and go. You get a fast cadence and a big gear, you're flying down the road. Come on. Breathe, breathe. Hold strong. And relax. Easy spin. So if you can spin fast, efficiently, you're gonna get somewhere. If those legs are just moving, but if you're pulling, you're making that circle, the more you pull, it's gonna accelerate you. You're pulling, you're gonna go forward anyway, but the greater acceleration when you're pulling. All right, two more minutes, 30 second drill, number three, and go. I close my eyes, focus. Follow through, lift, push and pull, push and pull, and lift. Come on. Ten more seconds, you got it. And relax. Grab some water. Try not to wait till you're thirsty to be grabbing your water. Mm -mm. Okay, we have one more 30 second over spin drill. Put the shoulders back and down, grip those abs in five, three, two, and go. Come on, control. Nice work, keep going. You got it. 15 more seconds. Come on, breathe. Then relax, spin it out. Nice work. All right. I'm gonna spin out those legs, flush them out, grabbing water. Again, grab water when you're when you want to throughout the workout. You don't have to wait till rest periods or time like that. All right. Woo! I'm stoked about this coming main set. We got some hills and we got some speed work. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using our big chain ring to stimulate that hill, all right? So we're gonna be in the big chain ring in the front, somewhere hard in the back, but if we press on those pedals, we can keep our cadence. Now, sometimes going up the hill, our cadence is gonna slow down just because the hill is just so steep. We can't maintain a certain cadence. The main goal, maintain certain form, all right? So the set. It's going to be big chain, big gear for two minutes. We're gonna climb that hill. I'm gonna use the right, left side. We're gonna drop down in small chain. We're gonna spin our legs. Now granted, we're not gonna be without resistance, but just spin your legs against that resistance. Back up to the big chain for a minute, back down for a minute, five minutes. It's a really solid kind of hill profile because you're going up and then you get to go down, and then you go up again, and down, all right? So it's gonna challenge our muscle to respond, those power muscles, and then those fast muscles, right? All right, so you have 40 seconds to kind of pull yourselves together. This set is five minutes long. Two minutes, big chain, big hill. One minute, small chain. One minute, big, one minute, small. Oof. Your goal, your main goal, is just to keep putting pressure on those pedals and keep moving for those five minutes. Solid effort. All right, so let's get the big chain. Now I'm gonna click down, I'm gonna be in the middle, 
then maybe one gear harder, okay? There's my hill. I can feel it, okay? There's my, there's my big hill. The only thing we're gonna be moving is our left shifter, up or down, ready. First set, go. Two minutes. Now that is a substantial hill. I'm gonna just, break, there we go, push. I have to make my circle in order to maintain this cadence. I've got this cadence, I wanna hold on to it. I'm putting effort into it in order to maintain it. All you have to do is focus. You can do it. Your goal, pressure on those pedals. Breathe. Make that circle. Got to keep your posture. Don't let that head hang. Stay strong. My cadence isn't 90 or 100 but it's a strong effort, I'm holding on. For 45 seconds, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a downhill. Breathe. Come on. In 10 seconds, bring your left side shift down to the small chain ring, push for a minute. The lighter resistance, the faster you go. Ready and go. Push that cadence. Pressure on the pedals. Breathe. You got it. Come on. Breathe. You got this. Come on, gang. In 10 seconds, going back up big chain on that hill for a minute and five, four, three, two, and go. Come on. Pressure on those pedals. Push. Come on. Focus on your form. That's going to get you through. In 10 seconds, we're going to drop to the small chain ring for our final minute. Downhill, you'll feel it lighter. Pick it up and go. Come on. Spin it out. Come on. Breathe. Got it. Ah, come on. Breathe. 30 seconds. Hold strong. You got it, come on. 
Last 10 seconds. Five, three, two, and relax. We're gonna leave our resistance where it's at. Just gonna spin on our legs, easy. Woo! So, it gives you an idea of what this interval is like. We're pushing, trying to push our cadence on that steeper part. As soon as we let off resistance, we're gonna spin our legs, and they're like, what? Keep going. Your goal, pressure on the pedals. Out of resistance, faster you go. We have two more five minute sets. You can do this. Two more five minute sets. We have a three minute focus spin and we're done. You guys are doing great. All right. Get your head in the game. 10 seconds. So let's put in that big chain. Get those legs ready. Let's start to rev it up. Ready and go. Right there. Establish that cadence, establish that pace. Sit in it, breathe. Which should be powerful and strong. Focus, you got this. Nice work, man. Into set number two, breathe. Stay strong, come on. Try not to let up on that pressure. Focus on your circles. Got one more minute here, come on. Pull that heart rate, come on. Energy comes from that, from your core, center of chi. You've got it, come on. Technique, 30 more seconds, and we're not headed for a downhill. Five more seconds. We're going to drop to that small chain. Spin those legs. Ready and go. There you go. Come on. You got it. Come on. Three. Hang in there. It's all you, it's all you. 30 more seconds, come on. Three. Nice work, everyone. This is where your music is we're gonna help you along. If you're playing that music in the background, it's gonna help you keep going. It's a great motivator. In 10 seconds, we're going back up on that hill. Woo, you can do this in five. Four, three, two, and up. Come on. Back up on that hill. Come on. Beautiful. Thirty more seconds. Come on. Beautifully done. Come on, you can do it. Twenty more. Go strong. Come on. 
like 10 seconds, put it down to the small chain, spin those legs for that final minute of the second set. Ready? And go. Give me a moment to adjust. Come on, take it up. Breathe. Nice work, come on. 45 seconds. Breathe. Ninety seconds. See if I can still see. I can. Woo. Come on, you can do it. Twenty seconds. We get one minute rest. You're all over it. Come on. Ten. And easy. Keeping the gears where they're at. Just slow it down. You guys, nice work. Two of the three sets done. Catch your breath. Grab some water. Woo. I like it. All right, we have 35 more seconds. Still our final five minute set. Again, working that power. As soon as you shift down to the small chain, those legs are moving, adapt. Adapt your cadence. Keep that cadence high. The lighter the resistance, the higher the cadence. Keep putting pressure on the pedals. All right, here we go. We have 10 seconds, final five minutes. We're gonna go back up to that hill. Let's put in a big chain. Let's start to rev up those legs and go. Come on. Focus for five minutes. You got this. Again, I need to close my eyes. I can't do that on the road course. But here, starting from my head, I'm doing a body check. Shoulders are relaxed, face is relaxed, chest is open. Got that relaxed tension because I got my shoulder blades pinned together. Putting that belly button in. Sits bones even, solid on that saddle. Pressing, push, pull, lift. Making that circle, making those push pull lift even. Smooth, smooth it out. Pulling my heart rate. Okay, you guys got this. We got one more minute on the still. Relax the shoulders. You don't want me tensed out here. My hands are in the, the hoods. I could shift to my drops or my handlebars here. Doing it. Grip. But light. That's it. Come on. You guys got this. 30 more seconds. Three. The body motion stays in motion. So we get that momentum. From our cadence, pushing us up that hill. If we shift, with less resistance, got to pick up that cadence. Here we go in three, two, right side easy and go. Shift, push. Getting a little sweaty, Betty here. Come on, you can do it. Pick that cadence up. Imagine you're riding with a pack. They're on your tail. If you slow down, if you let up, they're going to catch you. I'm going to keep that momentum strong. You got it. Three. Come on. 15 seconds, we're back up on the hill for one minute. 
Let me we're gonna shift. Our muscle gotta adapt. Here we go in five, three, two, up, go, push. Feel that resistance, push. Be strong. For the first couple of pedal strokes, you got some adrenaline. Once you're sitting in it, take some effort. Come on. Less than two minutes left in the set. Come on. Breathe. Try to stay in it. If you're letting your mind wander, you know, come on. Let's do it. Don't get distracted. Breathe. 20 more seconds. Come on. You got this. Got some sweat coming on. Breathe. You got it. Five seconds. We're going to drop to that small chain. Spin it out and go. Go, 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 go. Come on. Here it is. Come on. This is our final 45 second of descent into the finish. Come on. Whatever you got left. Put it out there. Last 30 seconds. Press that button to saddle. Turn those legs. Breathe. Control that heart rate. Come on. 15 seconds. You've got it. Come on. In five, four, three, two, and we're done. Put a little bit easier gear. I'm gonna grab some water, get the legs moving. We're gonna do our three minute focus spin. And that is just, you have a steady cadence, best form possible. You just stay very focused, very still for three minutes. You guys can do this. Here we go. Whatever you got, just stay steady and strong. Ready, doesn't have to be heavy, go. That's one you can have between 90, between 80 and 100. Different than a warm up, different than a cool down. So intentional with my form. Every pedal stroke is the same. I'm aware of my posture, I'm aware of everything that's going on. Just steady, just steady. Come on, you can do it. Just close your eyes, get into your music. You've got this. Two minutes, 10 seconds. Keep your shoulders back and down, keep your head up. Try not to let that head hang. You never do that on the road. Come on. Breathe. Ninety seconds. You can do it. Smooth. Ease as you go through that pedal stroke. Comfortable. You can spin here forever. Or at least you can spin here for 60 more seconds. Come on. Focus. That's it. 45.
Breathe. Last 20 seconds, you've got this. Breathe. Ten. And we are done. Let's shift to an easier gear. Spin it out, pull down. Woo! Nice work, everyone. Ugh. We were busy. We've been busy for 40 minutes. I want you guys to cool down for another 10 minutes. Focus on your form. Your cool down is just as important as your warm up and the main set, right? You want to keep the blood flowing through the muscle. You're going to slow your heart rate down a little bit, right? But you don't want that blood to pull into your legs. If you had to jump up right now and go sit and work or whatever, or go sit and watch TV, it feels like spinning, okay? Another option, those folks that are in triathlon training, after right now, sit for another couple minutes, go for a run. Make your first five minutes hard. And that'll help you with that bike to run transition. The perfect setup, right? So whether you're doing your spin workout at night, you can still run around the block if you have a lighted neighborhood. But that would be a great way to work on that triathlon transition. Otherwise, you guys keep spinning. I'm stoked. That was an awesome workout. Power, strength, speed. Keep working it. You guys, you keep spinning. Finish up your cool down. I'm Casey at home with Casey. This was another spin workout. Oh, I'm so excited for you. Thanks for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you again at our next workout, Zoom workout, or here on YouTube. Take care. Stay safe at home with Casey.